Today we're going to set up your LinkStyle Keystro camera and your LinkStyle app. Uh, after you charge the camera, uh, what you want to do is unplug it, put it in the on position, which is there. If you have a micro SD card, you'll want to go ahead and insert that there as well. And then you'll want to get your manual and then scan that QR code. And then once you have that scanned, uh, it'll give you the options on the website of the Play Store to download the app. Okay, so after you download the app, you'll see it here on your homepage. And you open it like that. Next, you'll want to come to your LinkStyle app, as I've done here. Uh, to add a device, you want to click in the top right corner on the blue plus sign and select Add Device. Uh, now, to add the device, you'll want to look for it in the left side of your screen at Camera and Lock, which you'll press there. And in the Camera and Lock section, it's your first option, which is Smart Camera Wi Fi. Uh, now these next four pages are just to verify the information needed for you to complete setup. So first of all, you need 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi. Uh, this page is just a reminder, you may want to remove the plastic lens on the front of the camera. Uh, this will give you a better picture. This third image is showing how far your phone needs to be in front of the camera in order for it to read the QR code, which we're going to retrieve here in a moment. And this last photo indicates where the reset button is should you need to reset the camera during this process. After this process, the only way to reset it is from within the app. Uh, this page is where you enter your Wi-Fi information. Again, please ensure you're using 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi or this will not uh, operate properly. This is the QR code. So once you retrieve your QR code in the LinkStyle app, you want to take your keystroke, point it at your phone until you hear a prompt. You want to go closer and further away. Just let me take a moment. There you go. Once you hear the prompt, click I heard prompt. Now your phone or mobile device is in pairing mode and you'll see here the keystro also has a blue blinking light indicating it's in pairing mode. I just have to wait for this final configuration step. And there it is. So uh, now on this page, you are able to rename the camera. So if you have multiple cameras, uh, you can indicate exactly where each camera is by the name. Uh, so for this one here, I'll put it as front window and this will be in the living room. So done. Operation successful, done. So now you can see the camera, ensure it's in the proper position and you're all set.